Let's we at Acts the 13th chapter, and we're gonna pick it up at verse 13. Acts 13 and 13. Go ahead and read it. Now, when Paul and his company loosed from Paphos, uh -huh. they came to Perga and Pamphylia, uh -huh. and John departing from there returned to Jerusalem. Go ahead. But when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch in the Pis Pisida, uh -huh. Pisidia, uh -huh. and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day Ooh. and sat down. Now, what they doing there on the Sabbath day of the week? Why wasn't it the third day of the week and they went, went into the synagogue and sat down? You understand what I'm saying? They went into the synagogue and sat down on the Sabbath day. Why don't nobody read this? Go ahead and read. You never hear them read this in those, in those Constantine churches. You never read, you never hear them doing it, reading this. Go ahead and read. 15. Uh-huh. And after the reading of the law, and the prophets of the ruler of the synagogue sent unto them. Now wait a minute now. They read the law and the prophets? Well, I know. Men say they New Testament Christians, though. And their beloved Paul, what is he doing? Reading out of the law and the prophets. <laughs> Go ahead and read. Don't nobody read this, though. Go ahead. At the top. Uh -huh. 15. Mm -hmm. And after the reading of the law and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent unto them, saying, Ye men and brethren, if ye have any word of exhortation for the people, say on. Go ahead. Then Paul stood up and beckoning with his hand, said, Men of Israel, and ye that fear God, give audience. Now we're going to stop right there. So let's skip down to verse 42. Skip down to verse 42. Go ahead and read. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, uh -huh. the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. Oh, wait a minute now. We got the Jews and the Gentile, the Gentile want to hear these words the next time. Remember now, this is the first century, so 300 years before Emperor Constantine. And the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. Look at this. The Gentiles now, and my old brother keep calling himself Gentile, darker than me, they Gentiles. You understand? But okay, you want to be a Gentile? Cool. But look at what the Gentiles did, though. They wanted these words to be taught to them the next Sabbath day. Go ahead and read. Now when the congregation was broken up, uh -huh. many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, uh -huh. who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. Go ahead. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. Ooh, here come the Jews and the Gentiles hearing the word of God now. All right. Now what you gonna do with this? I mean, you know, you got some dec a decision to make if you are a, if you are a Sunday worshiper or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. You ain't keeping the Sabbath, and you say you worshiping God. You better rethink this. You better rethink this. Let's go now. So now we see not only is Paul keeping the set after Jesus died, right? And the, the Jews still keeping the Sabbath. The first century Christians, they keeping the Sabbath. Now here come the Gentiles, they keeping the Sabbath. What you going to do with this? <laughs> what are you going to do? Let's go to Ephesians 4 chapter. We got uh, three more. Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4, and we're going to pick it up at verse... Uh, pick it up at verse 24. Ephesians 4 24. Go ahead and read it. And that he put on the new man. See, you got to put on the new man now. Now that you understand what day the Sabbath day is, now you got to put on this new man. You know, you were going to church on, on the first day of the week or the second day or the third day or whatever day you was going, calling it the Sabbath day and worshiping God, all but the seventh day of the week you was going. So now, what you got to do, you got to put on this new man and keep the Sabbath day. Go ahead and read. And then he put on the new man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pick it up in verse 23. Go ahead. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Don't let your mind tell you that the Sabbath is the first day of the week or the second day or the third day of the week no more. The Sabbath is the seventh day of the week. Go ahead and read. And that he put on the new man. Uh, if you put on the new man, go ahead. Which after God is created in righteousness and uh -huh. true holiness. Ooh, which, after the, which after God is, is created in what? In righteousness and true holiness. 
true holiness. And keeping the Sabbath, that's walking in righteousness and true holiness. Because the Lord said, look, this day is holy unto him and is holy unto his servants. So now, you got to walk in, be renewed in the spirit of your mind and walk in true righteousness and holiness and start keeping the Sabbath. It ain't hard to do. It's not hard to do. Let's go now. Let's go to Ephesians, uh, Hebrews, the fourth chapter. We got two more. Ephesians 4 and 2. Hebrews. I'm sorry. Hebrews 4 and 2. Thank you, brother. Hebrews 4 and 2. Go ahead and read it. 3. Hebrews 4 and 3. Go ahead. For we which have believed do enter into rest. Uh-huh. As he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, uh -huh. although, the, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, uh -huh. for he spake in a certain place of the Sabbath day, the seventh day on this wise. For he spake in a certain place of the first day on this wise. Did he say that? Seventh. He said he spoke in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. Go ahead and read. And God did rest the seventh day uh -huh. from all his works. Go ahead. And then this place again, if they shall enter into my rest. Go ahead. Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein. Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein. Go ahead. And they to whom it was first preached enter it not in because of unbelief. See, if you don't believe the Sabbath day and keep the Sabbath day, you're not going to enter into the ultimate Sabbath day or the ultimate day of rest. Because that's what we're pressing for. Right. Amen. That's what we're pressing towards. The ultimate Sabbath day. The, the day of rest. That thousand year millennium. Go ahead and read. Verse 7. Uh -huh. Again, he limited a certain day. Saying in David, Today, after so long a time, as it is said, Today, if ye will hear his voice, Harden it not your heart. So as you hear his voice today, concerning the Sabbath day being the seventh day of the week and not the first day, don't harden your heart. Don't turn away from this. Go ahead and read. For if Jesus had given them rest. Wait a minute now, Jesus. Who ain't giving them rest? Jesus. Jesus. You mean Jesus back in the Old Testament? That's right. If Jesus had given them rest. Go ahead and read. Then would he not afterward have spoken of another day. Uh-huh. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. Therefore, therefore, remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. And that's what we press it toward. That ultimate day of rest. That ultimate seventh day, Sabbath day. That thousand year millennium where there's going to be peace on earth. That's, going to, that's called the seventh day. The Sabbath day. Hallelujah. Let's go now. Let's go to Deuteronomy 5th chapter. And we got one more. Deuteronomy 5 and 12. Deuteronomy 5 and 12. We took that to 10. What's that? <clears throat> Deuteronomy 5. Mark. Deuteronomy 5 and, and uh, 12. <clears throat> Go ahead and read it. Deuteronomy 5 and 12. I hope everybody got some understanding today. This is a very serious day right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, this is a day that God chose. Stranger, if we want to be a part of the household of God, he's not supposed to work this day. Mm -hmm. What verse you should do at? The end of 14, 50 or 14. Go ahead. Nor thy stranger that is within thy gates, uh -huh. that thy maid servant and thy maid servant may rest as well as, as well thou. As thou. Go ahead and read. 15. Uh-huh. And remember that thou was a servant in the land of Egypt. Uh-huh. And that the Lord thy God brought thee out of thence through a mighty hand and by a stretched out arm. Uh -huh. Therefore the Lord thy God commanded thee to keep the Sabbath day. The Lord God commanded you to keep the Sabbath day. And he didn't want the ox and the cattle and everything. He want them to rest this day. And the stranger, he wants you to rest as likewise. Let's go now to the last scripture. Hebrews 13 and 8. Hebrews 13 and 8. Hebrews 
Go ahead and read it. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday uh -huh. and today uh -huh. and forever. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Who is the Lord of the Sabbath? Jesus Christ. Christ. You better be keeping the Sabbath day. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And now we're going to have the reading of the announcements. Grace and peace to our brothers and sisters here at the Israel's Church of the Living God. If this is your first visit, we hope you come back and worship with us again next Saturday. There's no eating or drinking in the sanctuary with the exception of water, for water. Brothers and sisters, please adhere to the dress code of Israel's Church of the Living God. Brothers, please remove any head covering upon entering the building. Do not wear sleeveless shirts, fleece jogging pants, shorts, tight fitting pants, or any other revealing attire. Sisters, you must have a head covering. This is required. Head scarf, etc. Do not wear short skirts, midriffs, or see-through blouses, mini dresses, mini skirts, halter tops of any kind, revealing splits, tight fitting or cleavage revealing attire, modest apparel only. We have Bibles and scarves available for visitors. If you use a Bible or scarf that belongs to Israel's Church of the Living God, please return it prior to leaving. If you live in the Lake County, Illinois area, please watch our television program, The Word for Life, every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m., Comcast, Channel 17. You can visit our Facebook page at Israel's Church of the Living God to post questions or comments. All questions, and, all questions will be answered according to the Bible. Click the Facebook like button to see our daily posts, and also click the follow button to receive class information. Church activities updated in your news feed. In an effort to expand the church ministry, we have started a building fund. You can make your secure payments online using our PayPal account at www.israelschurchoftlg.org or you can send your donation to the attention of TL ICO TLG PO Box 8933 Waukegan, Illinois 60079 we thank you for your past contribution and hope for your continued support. Free will donations are welcome and appreciated. Finally, brothers and sisters, please, please continue to pray for one another. This is this Sabbath day announcements. Okay, I also would like to announce that um, Saturday, May the 30th at sundown begins the Feast of Pentecost. Uh, we will be holding the Feast of Pentecost service Sunday at 1 o'clock. The 31st. So the Feast of Pentecost begins sundown, May the 30th, at sundown, and ends, I'm sorry, Saturday, uh, May 30th, at sundown, and ends Sunday, May 31st, at sundown. And we will be holding services Sunday at 1 p.m. So we want everybody to come on out. I mean, keep the keep the uh, Lord's Pentecost, which He command us to do. Right? If you'd like to contact us here at Israel's Church of Living God, you can give us a call at 847-636-4792. That's 847-636-4792. We also would like for you to follow us on our website. That's Israel's Church of TLG.org. Israel's Church of TLG.org. And we also would like for you to come out to our new location, which is at 2501 Deborah Avenue in Zion, Illinois. That's 2501 Deborah Avenue in Zion, Illinois. So we like for everybody to come on out and check us out and, and fellowship with us and keep the Sabbath. Not for you, because everybody want to put their stock in Paul. Skip what the Lord say. You know, just like the Lord, whatever Jesus said, don't mean nothing compared to Paul. Go ahead and read. Or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? He said, were you baptized? In my name? Skip down to verse 17. For Christ sent me not to baptize. Ooh, well, who sent Paul? Christ sent him. He said he sent me not. Go ahead. But to preach the gospel. Uh-huh. Not with wisdom of words. Wait a minute. He said, for Christ sent me not to baptize, but to do what? Preach, preach the, the gospel. gospel. So Paul didn't send Jesus. Jesus sent Paul, right? Mm -hmm. And even Paul himself said, look. Follow me as I follow Christ. Finish that. Not with wisdom of words, uh -huh. lest the cross of Christ should be made.